Hey everyone out there in YouTube land, Dan here from Geek Ass Radio doing another must read comic book video. This is where I go through some of the best books and explain to you why you must read them. Pretty self-explanatory. This week I will be discussing The Customer is Always Wrong. Uh, yes, that classic saying we all know and twist it on its head for a, a different meaning. This is written and drawn by Mimi Pond. And I went into this book knowing nothing more about it than the title wasn't really familiar with Mimi Pond. I just heard good things. I'm like, okay, let me try to read this. I knew it was about a waitress in working at this diner. And of course, you know, customers always wrong. So I was thinking, oh, it must be this zany adventure, probably full of a lot of sardonic humor uh, and probably, you know, quirky. I, you know, I'm not against those things. I think those things can be great. I love a lot of books that have that type of humor. And what kind of amazed me is that it's not that at all. It's much more true to life. It, it takes place during the 1970s, and it's written and drawn by Mimi Pond. And uh, it, she works at the Steiner, the the main character, and it's 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 got a very you know truthful, authentic feel to it. Like it, it feels like a, a personal memoir um, that you know that's very specific about a time and place. And one thing this book does, two things I should say that this book does really well, is utilize the location and and build characters. Uh, it, it you know it's like you it's like Cheers right where you have that one central location that becomes as cliche as it is as much of a character as all the other characters and that kind of happens here, and what was really interesting about it too is that the people it focuses on are, you know type of characters you don't really see a book focus on they're they're not great people uh, by any stretch of the mansion they're not awful people they just maybe are not morally what would normally be accepted in society. Um, and especially because th this is the 1970s and a lot of their lifestyles are you know, not nearly as accepted. Uh, this is in Oakland too, so there's a you know, lot going on in within the community itself. There, you know, some of the you know, some of the people that come and they're friends with are drug dealers and you know they, they may do things that are morally amb ambiguous or sometimes just morally wrong, but they're doing what they're doing in order to kind of get by. And you see that th these people certainly are flawed and have problems, but they're not awful humans they 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 have their own stories to tell and this is kind of telling that th those stories i mean i was just emotionally engaged in in it you i from from start to end and i was just amazed just by the humor uh the kind of the the emotion that's put on the page but it never feels like it's trying to pull at the heartstrings it's it's very uh, it's hard to even kind of quantify like relate this to anything else it's very much its own thing uh, and if you like if you like books that are able to take place during a specific time, but you don't feel like the time period is so in your face, like reading this and going through it, you, you would almost, if I didn't tell you it was in, taking place during 1970s, you're like, oh, this is today, and these are a bunch of hipsters dressing like like they did back then. Uh, but it, 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 you know, the lingo or the, the dialogue feels very, you know, timeless. It's not using a lot of modern you know quirkalisms or you know of the time dialogue it, you know there's some things here and there but overall it feels very much like this story could take place during you know this generation previous generations and we see kind of the main character and just how she her, like the struggle she's going through and she's not in a great place in her life um, and she's just trying to find something kind of find herself in a world um, that is not necessarily getting her, getting her, and she's somewhat of an outcast, but she and finds this new family within this, this, this diner and builds up friendships. Not everything goes the way she wants. She still finds troubles. Uh, you know, she kind of runs into some notorious ca characters that are dangerous, but she's able to kind of get by. Uh, and there's a lot of like episodic pieces within this like it's it is one continuous story but it's very it t takes place over a decent side period of time like i guess one thing that kind of reminded me of in a way was something like a um, uh, quentin tarantino film in the way that th there are specific scenes that really stand out where it, it lets scenes kind of drag out uh, for a long period of time you know letting it linger it's not really in a rush to get any place but within that, it allows you to kind of get to know all these different characters. Um, and you know, the art may not be everyone's style. It's, you know, I guess it's not technically black and white, more black and green. But it, it certainly, like, does a good job of being able to, it's, you know, certainly cartoony, but still 
it, it be serious when it needs to, uh, show emotion when it needs to. It can kind of run the gamut of comedy and drama. Uh, it fits the subject matter rather well. And that's kind of why, going into it, I thought it was going to be this humor book full of just more and more comedy. There's comedy in here, but it's really light. And I, I know one of the things I'm selling on this is like how it can really defy expectations, but it's just a really well-paced, well, -y, well -paced, uh, excellent way of showing how you can kind of tell anyone's story. They don't have to be you know, a superhero. They don't have to have the most dramatic life story. It's just everyone's story can be interesting and, and, and can be compelling if, if done right. Uh, and like that's certainly the, the customer is always wrong. So highly recommend picking this up. I, I, I myself picked this up like most of these books from the library and you can pick it up from there. It's, it's put out by Drawn, Drawn Quarterly who are pretty, you know, phenomenal and when it comes to the quality of books and what they put out. They don't just put put out anything. It Usually if you're picking up a Drawn Quarterly book, you may not be for you, but there's usually something really phenomenal about it that I think a lot of people will enjoy. This is, I think, a very approachable book. I think you can pretty much give this to anyone that's of age, whether you're a huge comic book fan or have never read a comic. This is a good you know, uh, lead-in comic, especially someone who maybe is like, I don't really like comics. I don't like superheroes. I don't like books about, uh, you know, fantasy. I, I want to, you know, I want a more true-to-life dramatic story. This is that. And you can take this, maybe give it to your friend who hates comics and say, hey, try this or you yourself try this and really expand. Like, I am really want to see what else Mimi, Mimi Pond has, has going on. That's one thing I see with sometimes with fan, 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 fanographic books or drawn quarterly books is like you have an author and an artist who do does an amazing book, but then they kind of you never really hear from them again. I don't know if that's the case with, with her. I, I, if, if this is any indication, that won't be. Um, so I highly recommend picking it up. Uh, and I just, I was, when it looks like looking at this page, for example, and it's obviously out of context, when you get to a moment like that, you, you just, it, it works on every level that you, you would want a story to. It's it's really phenomenal. And as you see, you know, there's these characters that are you know, dealing with cop issues. and But it's never like, it, it never it's never forgiving of these characters mistakes but it's also not condemning them to the point of they're awful people and i think it's it's a good lesson to learn that like it's you got to know a person's story understand where they're coming from and kind of get the motivation some people are you know some there are some awful people out there but just because one person is making a mistake or doesn't make the right decision or doing something that may not be the right thing there why is that happening and this kind of looks into why that might occur so Highly recommend it, uh, but that's it for me for, for this book. I do try to keep these a little bit shorter than some of the other ones because my hope is not to get in too much detail, just give you a little bit of taste of what's great about it. And if that interests you, go ahead and check it out. But if you want to check out some of my other videos, I've talked about the autobiography Muhammad Ali or biography Muhammad Ali previously, Essex County, and I'll have more books. And if you have a book you feel is a must read, put it in the comment section below and maybe if I agree or haven't read it, I'll check it out and maybe do a video on it sometime in the future. So just remember comics are for everyone. The key is finding the right one. Until next time, thanks for watching.